Hi, I'm Chuck Green. Welcome to a very special episode of Under the Hood. This week we're going to be featuring the new Vizzy series featuring the Philips new Platinum 5R lamp. What makes the Vizzy series so special? Philips Platinum 5R lamp. Eh? This lamp is amazing because it's a short arc discharge lamp, has a built-in reflector. That way you don't have to optimize the lamp and every time you change the lamp you get a brand new reflector. So the fixture essentially the output looks brand new every time you replace the lamp. Okay well the color temperature on this little guy is 8000 Kelvin. That is a real cool wipe. But really what do all these specs mean? In the end this thing is bright. Real bright. It's 160 watts and the output is close to that of a 575 discharge. This is really incredible. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a short arc discharge lamp. Basically without getting too in depth, a short arc gives you a smaller source point which allows us to use smaller gobos which allows us to fit more gobos in the fixture. As far as fixtures from American DJ that use the new Platinum 5R lamp, we've got the Vizzy Beam and the Vizzy Spot 5R. Today we're going to talk about the Vizzy Beam because there's really nothing like this out there. There's really never been anything like this out there for, for DJs and, and nightclubs. Beam fixtures have generally been something that only lighting designers get to use in arenas and large venues and when you have unlimited power. So we're really excited about this one. So in order to kind of properly go through this fixture, I need a bigger space than our uh, under the hood studio, so we're gonna take it down to the warehouse. All right, we're here at a undisclosed location in American DJ. We're gonna show you what the Vizzy Beam can do. But first, we kinda should talk about what a beam fixture is exactly. Um, I don't know if you can tell from there, but it's a very, very tight, very powerful, concentrated beam. It's kind of like those sky trackers you see at those Hollywood premieres. You know, we call it sky trackers or space cannons or, or whatever. But um, as I mentioned earlier, this is the first time that there's ever been a beam fixture that's affordable for the DJ market, doesn't weigh 100 pounds, isn't using a 1200 watt lamp, doesn't need 220 volt power. It's still the 160 watt platinum Philips 5R lamp. So we're gonna kinda go through some of the features and maybe you can see how this effect will work into your light show. Let's check it out. All right, well, you can see to start, it's a very concentrated, super bright beam of light. You can shoot this thing several hundred feet, but it's not just white light. It's got a color wheel with 12 colors. And I mean, you know, Red is one of the hardest colors to project and this thing will just blast some red around the room. You know, if you hit a mirror ball with this thing, it's gonna set the entire place on fire. It's just awesome. This fixture also features a prism and uh, when you're dealing with beam fixtures, it's not so much about the gobo or the prism effect it's projecting, it's about the effect in the air, the aerial effect we call it. Um, it, it's, it just gives you another, uh, another dimension to your light show. Beams like this, you could just imagine if you're doing a, a big wedding or just a huge party, having these things crisscross over the audience. It's, it's a real unique, dramatic effect. And um, I think we're gonna start seeing a lot, more D, a lot more mobile DJ guys and even nightclubs using it because now beam effect is accessible. As I mentioned, we had a color wheel with 12 colors, but being American DJ, you know we had to add some extra value and an extra feature. We put a frost filter on this. So not only is it a beam fixture, you can use it as a wash as well. And I mean, you can see this thing is still super bright. All right, well, now that you've seen what the beam can do, we gotta take it apart, right? This is really quite handy. It's got the quarter turn spring-loaded uh, screws. So you just kind of give it a, a quick turn. Okay, now that I've got the uh, spring-loaded screws unlatched, I've just got to loosen these screws around the lens a little bit. I don't have to take them out. 
just kind of loosens the grip on the front of the casing. You just carefully uh, slide these off. It's got a little safety cable. All right. So I've got the tops off. You can see I've got the, the housing pieces. They're hanging off these safety cables like you've seen on a few of our moving heads for, you know, in case the fixture's hanging in the air and you gotta take the, the, the tops off and work on it. But uh, this is a pretty neat feature. Just pull this little piece of rubber back and you can unlatch it. All right, so here we are. You can see how it's all stacked up in a nice compact case. Got your high velocity fan to keep the uh, lamp cool. You got your gobo wheel, which has uh, 14 static gobos. Got a color wheel here that's got 12 dichroic colors. You can't really see it very well, but down here there's a three facet prism for those really cool aerial effects you saw earlier. And then on top, you got the variable frost filter. It's kind of like that shower door glass on your grandma's shower, you know, old school houses. And then uh, we've got this specially designed lens for very, very high output. So you can see that like the rest of our fixtures, it's very well designed, everything's very clean, high temp wire, high quality motors, very quiet motors I'll mention too. Then if I flip it over this way, on the back, you'll see, well, let me put it right side up for you. A and B, these are the two screws you remove to replace the lamp. You'll notice there's not a bunch of screws like a lot of moving heads for optimizing the lamp because with the new Platinum 5R lamp, you don't have to optimize it. You just have to replace it once in a while. Now I got the color wheel scrolling with the top off. Can you just check out how bright this thing is? It's unreal. So if you take a look down here, you'll see that we have the same menu you've seen on a lot of our American DJ fixtures. You can uh, run through your test programs, set up your DMX address obviously, and there's also a way to change the pan from 540 to 630, which is pretty cool. And what I mean is 540 degrees or 630 degrees. So you know, if you know how to use any of our uh, moving head products, this uh, this menu will be a piece of cake for you. Well, the benefits to the Philips lamp are just endless because not only the output being so bright, the 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 beam being so even, it uses a, an electronic auto sensing ballast, which you know besides just being able to use multiple voltages, you can it also makes it super light. This fixture weighs literally half as much as an MSD250 fixture. So uh, it's you know a lot easier to deal with when you're climbing up on ladders, hanging it upside down. It's a one-man job to, to hang this fixture. And speaking of hanging the fixture, I'm going to show you the mounting options. We gave you a couple options with the Vizi series. You can see it has this plate where you can attach a clamp to either side here. You can bolt it to the ceiling for an install. And you can, it also has, you know, two quarter turn Omegas that go with it. Well, that's the VisiBeam 5R. Be sure to check us out next time. We're gonna be doing the Visi Spot 5R. And I uh, just wanna send a shout out to Soundhouse, Kanichiwa. I was out there last week showing them the Vizzy stuff. They were really excited about it over in Japan, and I know it's going to be a huge hit here too. So uh, keep those emails and comments coming, and I'll see you next time.